For 2020, Gibson Guitars has made changes to its acoustic lineup. Like they did with the electric lineup last year, it now is bifurcated into modern and original series. With that change, they brought out a 50s J45 and brought back the ever popular Southern Jumbo, which begs the obvious question, what is the big difference between these two guitars? Stay tuned because I'm going to tell you. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to support this channel, make sure to visit our Teespring store below to sample some of our custom designed t-shirts. So as I mentioned, this year, Gibson Acoustic Guitars has revamped their lineup and they have separated the guitars into two categories, original and modern. Like with their electric guitars, the original are vintage focused models that may have some modern uh, attributes like having a pickup system. The modern selection has guitars like the J45 Standard, which has been in production for a while, and even more kind of modern future focused guitars. Today, we're looking at two of their most traditional and well-loved guitars that have been in production for decades, the J45 and the Southern Jumbo. Now, the J45 has been around. The new version is a 50s focused version in the original lineup. The Southern Jumbo has been out of production for a bit and many of its fans like myself are glad to see Gibson bring it back. But the question always with these guitars is, what the heck is the difference between a J45 and a Southern Jumbo? Because really, they look pretty much like the same guitar on paper um, with maybe a few differences. And what I'm going to tell you is, yeah, they're pretty much the same guitar with a few differences. And I wanna highlight what those differences are for you. So both guitars, I'm holding the Southern Jumbo in my hand in case you couldn't tell. Both guitars are Gibson's round shoulder dreadnought or basically their jumbo body. Don't confuse it with the super jumbo. Both feature solid Sitka spruce tops with solid Honduran mahogany back and sides. Both feature hand scalloped X bracing in the traditional pattern. Both feature compound dovetail neck joints. Both feature the same uh, rosewood bridge and fingerboard. Okay, they have the same scale length. They have the same nut width. Basically, they are in effect from most of the build parameters, the same guitar. Here are the differences. So you have a difference when it comes to the binding on the Southern Jumbo. Basically, you get uh, more plies on the binding, top and back. You get more plies on the rosette as well. Uh, from a aesthetic uh, standpoint, you can look at the two of them and see the difference. Now, both feature the same style of belly bridge with bone saddle. It should be said that both have a bone nut in the same width which is 1.72 inches, or I think 43.4 millimeters is what it comes out to in metric. Now, when I played both of these guitars, I did think they might have a different nut width. And that's one of the biggest differences when it comes to the build. The nut width isn't different, but the neck profile is. The neck profile on the J45 is round. Now, you should not hear that as fat or overly thick. It is comfortable, but it is round. On the Southern Jumbo, it is a slimmer, profile for the neck. And so the whole neck, particularly up here in the first position, does feel different. And as a result, I thought this had a wider nut initially till I looked at the specs one more time. The other differences really come down to aesthetics. So in addition to the plies of the binding and the rosette being different, you can tell that the inlay on the neck is different. Instead of just the dots on the J45, the Southern Jumbo gives you the split parallelogram inlays up the neck. You have Mother of Pearl inlaid torch on the headstock. The Gibson logo is inlaid in Mother of Pearl as well, instead of the gold foil logo that's on the J4550s 50s original. And the tuners are very different. So the back of the, uh, the tuners on the Southern Jumbo are open back Grover style Butterbean tuners. On the J45, they are 
vintage style Grover strap uh, plastic button tuners. So that's basically the differences. It really comes down to aesthetics. Now, which one should you get? We're going to play both of them for you, but like I said, effectively, they are about the same guitar. Any differences that you hear probably come down to any variance in the wood grading um, that takes place and the slight difference in the amount of mass that the necks have between them. It really just comes down to aesthetics. Since they're the same build, same tone woods, same bracing, same pickup even, it's aesthetics. And I would probably choose the Southern Jumbo over the 50 standard J45 for that reason. I happen to like the split parallelogram mother pearl inlays, the torch inlay, the Gibson logo inlaid on the headstock, and I really like these Grover tuners on the Southern Jumbo. And it's just, you know, just as famous as the J45 is, the Southern Jumbo kind of has its own charm and its own fan base. However, you might prefer the J45. If you want that very vintage, kind of more toned down aesthetic, something that sounds phenomenal but has a very simple look to it, you can save yourself basically about $300 and go with the J45 50 standard instead. But that is really the difference between these. It's aesthetics, the neck profile, and 300 bucks. So if you think about it, given the upgrade in the hardware, the inlays, um, the, the, to me, comfortable neck profile, $300 really isn't a big upcharge in order to get those features. So there you go. That's the difference between the new models, the J4550 standard and the Southern Jumbo. Now, like I said, I'm going to play them for you. And if they happen to sound the same, I told you so. Check it out.
So there you have it, the J4550 standard in the original series and the Southern Jumbo that has been brought back in the original series. Both very, very similar guitars. $300, which one would you choose? I've already made my choice. I love the J45. This is effectively just a dressed up J45 and I happen to like the appointments and the neck profile. I do like the neck profile on this. It's different. It's just, you know, it's maybe, it really comes down to preference. If you have a chance, you should play both. But for many of you, it will probably come down to the aesthetic choice. So tell us below, which one do you like? Do you like the simple dot uh, appointments, the uh, white button tuners, the gold foil logo of the J45, or do you prefer the slightly more dressed up Southern Jumbo? Let us know down below. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. Regardless of which one you play or any other, the best guitar in the world is the one you're making music on. Make sure you continue to do that now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.